I have definitely accomplished a lot living in a van. I've had the chance to clear up my debt within the first year of not paying rent anymore. And sure, a lot of people looked at my life going, hmm, whatever happened to him? Whatever happened to this nightclub DJ named DJ Chrome? How did he end up living in a van? Whatever went wrong in his life? Yeah, nothing went wrong. I chose to stand up for me and keep life simple. To remove all the stressful things in my world like the job that I hated and just start living life my way. Nothing ever went wrong because I had the chance in my life to find myself and I found myself living in this van. But I also find that life's going through some more changes and I bought an ambulance <laughs> and I don't know why. John had a pretty good idea. Because I'm going to be spending a little bit of time in here over the next little bit between getting stuff done here at J5 and also getting my van painted, that I would make this thing into a little bit more of a home, allowing me to get a feel for the space while I'm in here. I was originally just planning on throwing my mattress down on the floor, but John's like, why do you make a little bed platform? At least then you can get your bed across the back and get a better feel for the space. And maybe over that week or two weeks that I'm going to be in here, I can plan this thing out a little bit, you know? Because the only way you know what you want to do is to live in the vehicle first. So well, apparently that's what we're doing. So he uh, gave me some two by fours over here. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I made a super simple bed frame in my van when I very first moved into it. I never made any of the cuts on mine because I lived in the apartment at the time, had no tools nor the space. So I actually went down to Home Depot with the measurements that I needed and the guys in the wood department ended up making all the cuts that I needed and I screwed it together myself. So we're gonna, we're gonna make something nice and simple today. All I'm gonna need is four boards and some center supports here. So what I'm doing is using this as the bottom, this as the top, and then adjusting the height that I want for the bed by adjusting the height of the center pieces that are gonna go in here. So if I wanted a super tall bed, <laughs> I do a super tall center piece. Does that make sense? So that's what it was. So here's where the board's gonna go on the top and the mattress. So if you want a short one, you just do smaller things. Are you guys camera even pointed at me? Hey. Coming aboard your saw. What are you doing over there? I'm doing a little sewing. Now that's some antique thing right there. Yeah, isn't it? Wow. It works good if I remember how to use it in years. I'm impressed that you know how to sew. That's impressive. Well, I'm not good at it and I'm not offering the service. <laughs> This is all I did with the original frame that was in my van. I took a bottom board, chose the height of the bed. I put three posts. And then a board over the top. And that's all I did. And once I screwed this to the board that was on the top, it was solid, it worked fine. No problems whatsoever. And that's it, you guys. Pop that other one on there and you got one frame done. Maybe I bought it because I'm going through a midlife crisis. I don't know, my mind's been telling me crazy things lately, like I need some serious, serious change and to do something different. Uh-oh. <laughs> Am I going through a midlife crisis? Is this usually where guys buy hot rods and then this guy here buys an old beat up ambulance? What? Or it's quite possible that I just straight up completely lost my mind. Bada boom. <clears throat> All right, let's go have some pancakes. All right. You hear that? I get to have some pancakes. <laughs>
Um, is that really your view from your kitchen? I'm really sorry. <laughs> the big old ambulance out there, like, oh, look how pretty it is out here. No, and then bang! <laughs> that old thing. <laughs> You're ruined my whole yeah, view. I'm so sorry. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> How you doing, crazy? Hey. How you doing, buddy? You sleeping in the bed? <laughs> you having a lazy day? Yeah, bro. All right. How are we doing for measurements here? There's definitely a lot of talk around van life when it comes to high roof vans versus low roof vans. And everybody across the board always says you need to stand. You have to be able to stand up in your home. Well, I can stand up in this thing and it's not all that exciting. Because if I think about the amount of time I spend in the van standing, I don't know, I'll be sitting at the editing desk, maybe standing to make a quick meal, but then I'm, you know, in bed sleeping for the night. The rest of my life, I live outside. I guess I'll keep you posted on that. There's an insane amount of room inside this ammo. <laughs> Say that again. Boom! We have a bed. Sweating over here, if you get sweating, it's like on your eyeballs. <laughs> it's one of those kind of days for sure. I'm pretty stoked I get to show you guys this kind of stuff because way, way, way back on my channel, I used to live in a van very, very basic. And I think all of you should start your van life this simple. The reason why a bed frame like this is so awesome to start with is one, it's easy to build and you could get Home Depot or your local hardware store to do all the cutting for you. And then all you need to do is a bag of screws and a screwdriver or a, a drill and just get her done. But the reason why this is awesome is you have an elevated bed, enough room to throw some storage underneath and then throw a rug down. Strap some cabinets to the wall with some bungee straps and roll on down the road until you figure out your van space. That's what I plan on doing here with the ambulance because this is a whole lot different than the little camper van I'm living in now. It's like, I don't know, a foot and a half or two feet wider. It's way taller than my van, so I'm a little bit confused about it. But here is why I think you need to start simple until you figure out your space and why I think a simple frame like that is key. In my situation here, I'm unsure if I want the bed right across the very back or if I want to bring it forward a little bit so the back doors aren't blocked by the bed, creating a bit more of like a full closed in garage space back there. But having a bed like this allows me to find out maybe first week back there with a the bed right in the back, second week bringing the bed a little bit farther forward. It's pretty simple. You unscrew how it's anchored to the floor or you bungee it to the wall, however you're going to secure it for the temporary time being. You grab this, you move it forward, <laughs> you re-secure it to the floor. Now I can experiment with having all that extra space back there while still sleeping in a very simple bed, throwing my storage bins or whatever underneath there for now and figuring out my space. And or you want to try it on the one wall here, then you can unsecure these, run one here, one on the opposite side of the wheel well there, and then try your bed along this way. You get your chance to experiment and play around. Look how easy it is to experiment with your space inside of your van when you start out simple. I'm telling you guys that is 100% key to building a perfect van is to live in it for a little while just like this and just move things around. You all do it when you move into an apartment. You set up your couches and your TV and then you're like, huh, that didn't work out so you move your TV to the other wall. Well, do that with your van for the first, 
I would say three months for sure, but at least a minimum of one month. Do not sleep anywhere but inside of your van for at least 30 days before you build it out because you will start to find that, hey, this cabinet would be better here. Hey, this sink would be better there. Hey, I don't like my bed in the back. I like my bed about five inches forward from the back door. But you get to experience those things by building silly little things like this, super simple, you know, kind of rougher for a little while. Ugh. Get to know your van first. I'm gonna secure the bed to the floor here. And in my van, I had a whole box of these puck lights that I use in my van. So these are the same ones that I have. I bought extra for mine just in case, you know, I needed one and then they didn't make these anymore for some reason. So I bought extra so I'd have replacements. So we're gonna temporarily, temporarily use these inside of the ambulance. So we got a little bit of light. These came with some sticky little tape here. So we're gonna to try to attach them to the to the ceiling with this stuff. Right here, a little sticky tape. We're gonna stick it right inside this little this little hole right there. <laughs> Perfect. I have three lights mounted, one on either side here, one tucked away in that little hole in the back, and a cable runs all the way down to a dimmer switch that came with the lights where I can uh, obviously dim it, turn it on and off. And this will be plugged into a 12 volt accessory plug and put into the front of the Jackery battery. Then anytime I need power, I turn that on and I can adjust how bright it is right there. A little cruisy has been hanging out underneath the bed most of the afternoon. It's like his little cozy little spot. Hey, hey buddy. While I'm spending some time here in the ambulance, this Jackery Explorer 1500 battery is the one that I'm gonna use to power the entire ambulance. Um, I may bring my fridge in here. I'm not really too sure right now, but it's definitely gonna power my cell phone, my laptop, and also my lighting and stuff in here. Uh, pretty much running the whole house off it. I'm actually really stoked on it. Imagine this. Imagine this bed being way up here and being able to open up these doors and allow all this air to move across the bed while you're sleeping on the back entry at night. <sighs> oh, so awesome. And what I'm gonna do is on the door here, I'm gonna make sure that we have lots of little compartments and really make some serious use um, of the door for storage, much like I did in my van. Maximizing on space. God, I'm so excited. Hey, buddy. This day was pretty unexpected. <laughs> oh, cruisy. <laughs> I was all wrapped up in his leash and cruisy was like spinning me. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for watching today's video. Um, in a few days from now, we're going to be installing that underneath my rig. I'm not really too sure if I'm going to stick around for a lot of this project because I don't think it's going to be so filmable. Uh, at that time, we'll probably take off in the ambulance and go explore a little bit and see what that thing can do in the backcountry, maybe. Hey, hey, <laughs> I'm not really too sure. Anyway, guys, thanks for riding along and... John at J5 here, thank you so much for allowing me to be over here and all up in your business and using your tools and stuff. Uh, very much appreciated. All right, guys, see you on the next one. If I would have started my van life with money and no debt, I would have built it all out before I moved into it. And I would have made a giant mistake. I hear about people making these mistakes all the time. They see videos and they automatically have this plan in their head, but it's in your head, it's not functional. You need to start your van life off very simple and when I mean spend time in it, I mean some serious time. Whether you're camping in it, do a full camping season without building it. Overlanding, same thing. Full time van life, just sleep in the driveway of your home for a little while and get to know the inside of your van. At the end of it all, you're going to have a way better space and that is something I truly and strongly believe. Thanks for watching you guys. Please support our journey. Come over and join us on Patreon and or the join button down below on YouTube memberships. As of right now, me and my little dog Cruzy, we're gonna take off and enjoy the rest of our day. Thanks for riding along. We'll see you soon.